could it be no no link to uh twitch views all right so i dropped the fight we have been having there. technical difficulties um with our stream however this is smsu versus carl university <sighs> um However, does catch one enemy oh, remaining. Hard. Catches another solid walrus is down. Omen will be planting towards long. Probably gonna be aggressive Spike here on City. Setting a blind Last play on guard. However, Nermian swings out at the perfect timing and catches Omen for that trade. Really good use of you know playing with the space you have when going to see two and going to barrage. And they end up catching Omen off guard and getting that kill. Okay, that leaves SMSU at 2 and Coral at 6. Yeah, so Can I get a drop? going here, we see Thanks. SMSU with kind of a struggle, you know, a struggle purchase here. Some light armor, Spectre, Bulldog, you know, not really what you want to see when you just one around. And it looks like the other university, Carl University, is currently with a full buy, sitting nice and pretty with phantoms, vandals, and shields, full utility. Uh, looks like this will be a C. My Split. ultimate is ready. C long. However, Carl University already determining that they want to rotate. Bucky has pushed up, and this might catch them off guard. Fearful Shadow not aware of that race behind that box. We have that nice red outline, but they do not. So. Yeah, this would be interesting. Uh -huh. You know, in times like this, you just really wish that a flash or a dog was thrown through. Molly. But he does catch two uh -huh. off guard with that flank, you know, making them scared and anxious to enter sight. And they will back up, except oh, it seems to be going for that aggressive play, and it does work out. Yoru waiting for something more as they push site a 2v3 going to be a 2v3 reach like if last land. player standing oh man i don't like to see that omen knows exactly where bucky is now though that's not good they're gonna move over to c site to plant yeah this is going to be hard raise 30 seconds left mid. Yeah. Oh, this this is a moment where oh, no, oh, no. there, there's not much that you can do right there. You know, you gotta hope that maybe Bucky gets a kill and can heal off of that. But has oh. Raze used that ult? Raze hasn't used their ult the entire game. However, you know they're 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 going 16 and a five. They're feeling comfortable. They're feeling confident that they don't need to use that to secure the round. And honestly, SMSU, you know, they're just peeking one by one and kind of letting up that ground. Not really playing with their utilda. Um, Cutting through. Make enemies nervous or scared. We're gonna see Yoru push up, but without any teammates, this is really dangerous. Oh man, Yoru's really in a bad spot here. Oh, had their teleport yeah. hey. spawn. This is not inherently bad, but Yoru gave up a lot of space on site. Yeah, looks like they didn't really ever get punished for that, so. Spike planted. Flash might go out. I think it would be good here to flash out. Nope. Looks like we're not gonna see that. We're gonna see everyone, every single player from that team playing long. Bread loaf is going for the flank, but made a little too no. much sound. And Raze and Sky might. No. Looks like they want to go yeah. through garage. They're they want to. Yeah. They're, they're Fire in that hole. Sky's the Whether or not someone's coming with is. Right. Oh, Ray's finally using that ult. Sky is gonna get a flank on SMSU here. Last player standing. That's hard because I think a lot of these rounds, it's just utility really not being utilized in a correct way. Like we we can think of multiple ways in which Spike could have been like smoked off or protected there right we have cages from um cypher you know maybe we save one for um retake right maybe we have a smoke come in for brim brim was kind of poor that round though it seems that he was trying to save all of his money so just not an ideal round for him yeah it's just hard because 
you got moments where you gotta buy as a team. Like right now, we're we're seeing a lot of SMC not not buying as a team. But you know, this is this is a game where they're just trying to make anything work. You know, any any kind of round, any kind of hero buy could change the course of the round. So I can't really fault them for wanting to try and make a play. But I I would really appreciate seeing like a cohesive buy. You know. Right. Fearful Shadow here doesn't actually have any armor. Yeah. That's a little dangerous. Bucky getting spot out and annihilated by a squirrel. Oh no, Fearful Shadow gonna get flashed and pushed here by Omen, it looks like. Look out! I've oh, got your trail! Not enough. No. Red Loaf does patch out the Omen, that's really awesome. Like planted! Oh, Raze is dead, actually. I was going to say Raze jumped above Yoru there, but this Yoru got completely saved without even knowing. This is good because they have to smoke with utility. And they don't have smokes for CT. Grim so. does have to see. Yeah, no ult this round anymore, but we do see Cypher ult come out here, so maybe we see you. Last player standing. Oh. A little bit too much of a drop there for him yeah. to be able to shoot accurately. Tie it down. Yeah, it looks like Carl University will just get off scotch for this round. Acrylic like will just back away to save. Keeping that one rifle. Yeah. yeah. Well, what what do you kind of think that SMC should change up here? Uh, to me, I mean, I see a lot of Last missed round shots. Before the I switch. see a lot of inopportune fights being taken and a lot of fights being missed just by poorly timed rotates but there's a lot of situations where they could have been staying and caught maybe a rotate yeah but they're also just losing those gunfights so taking them is probably not the first thing they should work on and again the utility they could be using a lot more utility with what they're doing yeah because I, I know like CSGO is a kind of game where you know utility is important but not it's, it's not in the same way that utility is in Valorant at all you know like the silver dart the sky dog that kind of utility is very unique to this kind of FPS situation and um it's it's good to get on what can be switched great pick there on their yeah. raise Mm -hmm. Using this ult to yeah. get all of the information knows exactly where everybody is. He's actually gonna leave his ult. Oh no, he's not. He just wanted to flash everybody real quick. I think I saw oh, okay. Spike <laughs> this round. Spike down. I had Attacker spawn. A job of using util and getting rewarded for that. I think the push outside of garage inherently was good. I have that the spike. flash was good. It's just the gunfight was you know you whiff a little bit and then you know it, you just die but that gunfight that fearful shadow took wasn't bad it was a good idea it was just the, the missed shots that made it kind of tricky 30 but seconds left you know, Bucky, spike down see I like, it, I like what Bucky is doing here yes. Omen is probably terrified last player and standing now. split off from sky because yep Bucky just killing everybody off there yeah, Three kills for Bucky. That round pretty good. Switching sides. You know, it was it though was different of side of SMSU with using utility correctly, so. Right. And though all of that did start with a great pick from Yoru there, and it, it was taking out the enemy race player. The enemy race player has been kinda antagonizing SMSU the entire game so far. Going yeah. looks like seventeen and seven. Mm -hmm. So getting that player out of the game that early in the round is very ideal for SMSU. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you see someone doing so well, it, it messes with your mentality a little bit, right? You start to think that if you see that person, you, you have to play a certain way. You have to play passive or you have to play scared. And that kind of process can really mess up a team so getting that raise out makes the whole team a lot more comfortable to take these fights right. this is the first round of SMSU pistol round uh, offense <laughs> <laughs> I mean it is pistol round it right? is pistol yeah. round it's just it's, it's not you. more than one dog missed there oh, no. there's an opportunity 
Okay, it doesn't matter. They get a kill. Red Loaf also picks up solid dollars. Looks um, like defense is not too kind to either either team. Yeah, Squirrel might go for a blind out of heaven, and this might be detrimental. However, Buffy has a flank, and this is looking like one really enemy remaining. Up. Doesn't they matter if they're up. blind. SMSU is just picking everyone off. They do lose the Red Loaf there, but. Bucky small, with an amazing flank. Small price to play, uh, small price to pay to win the round, so that's good to see right there. Um, we're gonna see SMSU buying up here as a team. At least that's what we should be seeing, is a buy up as a team right. to Very secure this. Very important that SMSU have a solid buy this round together and win this round yeah. together. The only thing I would say is I'm seeing some light shield, and inherently I don't like that because that's right. you know if someone has a deagle on that enemy team, it it's one tap and you're and you and you're gone. You know, what could be 145 is now a death sentence. Right. Oh, I'm running so right it looks like this is gonna be oh, a no. very good game. Picking them up, you know, gets three but does get taken out. Spike but planted. Honestly, that that kind of SMG for the price of oh, that was very unfortunate for Breadloaf. Maybe this? a little bit too much overextending there. This is scary though. One enemy is... remaining. Oh, and a great flank by Bucky. No, Bucky. Bucky has a. You no, know, we're we're not worried around here. Uh -huh. Not <laughs> Bucky just knows what to do. You know, Bucky. Honestly, like, Reyna's not traditional in team play, and that's because like Reyna typically lurks and doesn't enter sight very well. But they are playing Reyna well in the sense that Reyna is lurking. Reyna is getting these unexpected kills from these angles that the enemy team isn't worried about because they don't think anyone could be there. Um, they thought they were free. Yeah, and, and Reyna is just there, you know, watching, waiting. Ooh, judge in short. And oh, no. no. Spike down not A. Three. Not a clear corner. Nobody clearing that corner. Last uh, player very, standing. Very bad. Bucky does get one. Oh, man. Krillik bought a rifle, it looks like here. That might yes. have been a mistake because this round went from a very lucky to a very <sighs> sore loss very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, typically, so like Valorant Gold, um, what we'll do is the first round is pistol round, right? You. You buy utility, you maybe buy some shield, you maybe buy like a uh, upgraded pistol, right? If you win that round, the second round you buy up, you buy like a specter, some full shield, some um, utility. If you win that round, you do not, bo you, you bonus. You bonus so that you can buy full utility, full armor, full guns the next round, right? And you just try to do as much damage as you can on that bonus. Because if you buy up and you lose, that means you can't buy as a team in the next one. And that's kind of what we're seeing. We're seeing Krillik here with a Spectre while his entire team has go has a, a full buy. And it's really easy to get yourself into a situation, especially where, where Cypher is right C long. This super long angle you're taking with a Spectre, and that's not ideal at all. You know, if you're gonna have a Spectre, you should be going Garage, you should be going A short, you know, somewhere where that's gonna be advantageous for you. Looks like both SMSU players long actually have Spectres. Yeah, that's 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 not an ideal angle. Yeah, that's not what you wanna see at all. It's it looks like SMSU did run a bit of a default this round with everybody being spread out with yeah. bomb sort of hanging back and waiting to see where the picks are gotten. Bucky got such a good pick right there is going up and Sova Walrus has to be careful about this A, sh a link area. I'd like to see SMSU on the site with Bomb a little quicker there, but you know, they still got there. We need to see 30 some smokes left. out here from SMSU really quickly. You know, if we don't see smokes, it's really likely that Heaven's just going to be taking advantage of and we do see a smoke, that's really important. There we go. Allows them to fall off and get into a better positioning to play a post plant. You know, we're gonna see Sky. No hard feelings. A great swing yeah. by Krillik. One is flank, and they know that. They know Killjoy is flank. Your TP tries to get that kill. However, Clowns does take out two of SMSU. It makes it a 3 v 3 Sky swings out CT, does get one. Fearful shot. And they're picking up standing. one. Clowns. One enemy remains. Oh, man. Clowns is too good this round. 
Clowns just picking up SMSU left and right. Picked off Reyna from long. That blank is just... And Yoru tried to teleport behind her. She wasn't having it. And yeah, then just pushed up and took out the rest of the SMSU while they were distracted. Yeah, that, that kind of flank is not something you ever want to see, right? Deadly. <laughs> That's... I think the worst case scenario for a flank is to have... Could have seen a bit more of passive gameplay there. With yeah. a little bit more close angles that they couldn't have been taken out from so far away. Mm. Fight for every square inch of that, but also, you know, live while doing it. Yeah, like, I, I can't fault SMSU for going for the, that, that flank kill. Because, you know, the one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not going to be killed from behind, right? Right. And, and you want to go for that, absolutely. But I think when you have two players you know, swing off and they both die, you have to take space somewhere else. So maybe SMSU could have you know, went out CT. Maybe they could have went back towards A short and picked up that kill Killjoy as a team. I think that was their biggest mistake was not playing together and you know, taking those 1v1s against Killjoy. But I can't really fault them for that because I probably would have done the same. So... But we do see kind of a default setup here from SMSU. Um, you know, they are pulling some rotations, but they're not too worried. Um, Carol. Redloaf really not liking that door there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, where they see some more stuff come out. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. That probably wasn't the best idea. Yo. That's probably not what Redloaf <laughs> thought was going to happen either. But when you shoot that armor off that door from that close, it's it's gonna 30 happen. Thirty seconds left. It's very ironic. <sighs> oh man, Kurt again with the spectre going long. Learning that going long with the spectre is not the move. I think um, we're seeing our three. Lucky did get a good pick there. Yeah. Picked off the enemy team's rear. Spike down. See. Ten it's seconds like left. In their hands, it is long. Last player standing. Uh, there's nothing they can do at this point. You know, it is just a, you know, the round is over, and they're, this is a really unfortunate place for us to be, like, in all seriousness. They took away match three point. guns, but lost four. Uh, I mean, this, this is match, match point. Yeah, that's, if they need to force all of their money into this round, or they're going to lose the game, and even with all of their money, let's see, it looks like, even with all their money, yeah, they do actually get, a it's lot a, of rifles, yeah. it's missing a, a lot of armor. It's a buy, you know? Like, it's a buy that you can make some action with. Right. Um, what we really need to see here is a lot of headshots from <laughs> SMSU. A lot of headshots. Yeah, we, oh, okay, we got to yeah. with the... Blinding. Oh, you know, that blind coming through. Guaranteeing that there's someone there. They're not going to be worried about A short anymore. They're not going to be worried about A. Bucky giving them a little bit of a taste long. Maybe they don't know. Yeah, they don't know who's long. I think this is scary for You are in a situation where you have to force up every single round in the hope that you not lose a single round. I'd almost like to see SMC push something together here. Kind of spread out a little bit. We need to be covering everybody with all the angles. Watching every corner. Especially if they're going to be really fun. Bad timing for Krillik there. B is a really open site. There's a lot of angles that can be looked at and a lot of places they can... Spike down, mid. Spike is down. You know, we still have that brim ult, though, that has yet to come out. I think maybe putting that onto C or Garage is something that can make sense. So that's a play. Yours. Wooden walls do not stop bullets. No, not in this 30 game. seconds it's, it's, left. Uh, cardboard walls, no. Everything's so thin in Valorant, you know. Watch Spike this. planted. This is all gonna go through the walls, guaranteed. Oh, wow. That blind saving Bucky there. Last Red. player standing. Oh, no. We gotta take care of that Killjoy ult, or there's just not gonna be anything Open left. Up the sky. I think he still gets detained here, though. Oh, no, he doesn't. He is free. But he is going to be shot from a lot of different places. Yeah, and there it is. An Odin 4K. That is unfortunate for SMSU. Unfortunate Defenders loss. Defenders win. That's five rounds yeah. in the game. But that's that's hard, but honestly, like, you know, SMSU took away some rounds there. 
and there's a lot to be learned from that game. I, I think overall that game wasn't bad. I think it's a huge learning experience for SMSU. Um, I think every single round you can learn something from that. So, Right. Um, SMSU needing just a little bit more utility and just a little bit more bullets hitting people, I guess. That's... I think I think utility coordination is is the right. biggest thing. The more important part of it. You know, Valorant's a game where you, you don't need to hit your shots. You just need to. You need somebody else to hit your shots nah, for nah, you. No, no, no. You need to coordinate <laughs> ut your utility, and you're good. But anyways, I think we do have another game coming in from SMSU Brown. So stay tuned, and we will have that on shortly. Thank you. Welcome back. We are here with another game. It's going to be SMSU versus Carl University again. However, this map is going to be sent. One of the original maps in the game. And it looks like SMSU already has their comp locked in. We have Cypher, Raze, Gecko, KO, and Harbor. Harbor, not really a traditional pick on Ascent, but we'll see what can happen and what can be manipulated by Harbor here. You know, we also have a two initiator comp with Bucky rocking one of the better duelists at the moment and then Cypher who Krillic is really comfortable on and I have a lot of faith in his ability to kind of mess with the opponents because Cypher typically not picked on Ascent but with that kind of trickery that Krillic has up his sleeve I think there's a lot that SMSU can work around with there choose your agent and, you know we're gonna see um, the other university have a more traditional comp on Ascent. You know, you see the Sova coming out um, along with Killjoy, Jet, KO, and Omen. I think the biggest concern here has got to be KO because SMSU is running a lot of individuals, a lot of utility that is necessary for sight hits and for other coordinated plays. And if KO can shut that down as SMSU is trying to hit sight, I think that's going to be detrimental to their team play and to their overall sight hits. However, we are going to see that SMSU is defending. But same goes here. If they're able to shut down Krillic on a site that he's at, it's going to be impossible for SMSU to hold that. So, you know, we're just going to see how this pistol round goes. Looks like Krillic will be setting up towards B. And, you know, the other team is reading that and will be heading towards A. He's hanging in there. Yeah, he's over there. Uh, it looks like some Just like the are entire, is it, uh, are we going to settle on Carl? Carl. Carol. Carol. Carl. Carl, uh, Carl University. I, I kind of like Carl. I like Carl. Carl. Yeah, I like Carl. I don't know if they would if they heard us saying it and we're doing it wrong, but I... But, but I also think it's like comedic at that point. So Carl C <laughs> University. Uh, it starts with a C. We'll say that. <laughs> Carl University. All right. Harbor throwing out a wall here. Um, you know, I'm... It looks like they're trying to be quiet, get up towards A, but leave one watching behind them. Uh, it doesn't look like... It looks like Raze might actually get some picks here, but... Uh, oh, man. Bucky is in a bad position here. Oh, Bucky is in a really oh my goodness. That is the first time I've ever seen one bullet kill two people in this game. Coming from a pistol, at least. That's one enemy a remaining. lot of damage. No, no, oh my no, goodness. No, no, no. SSU picking up the first round immediately. Putting the entire team in that corner, in that box. In that terrible alley of I'm, death. I'm sorry. I've got to think that through. So we saw, we saw Bucky up there. And, you know, a silver, silver dart comes through. And you, I think you think it's all over for Bucky. You know, there's no possible way that Bucky gets a kill here. And he comes away with two. And then you see Fearful Shadow trade him out. And then you just see, you know, bread. Bread loaf. Yeah. Clean it up. 
Yeah, you know, cleanup crew out of A main. You know, that's, you know, they pinched him and that's exactly what they needed. Bucky going again for the same kind of strap. Oh, oh no. Nerdman not taking his time with his shots, unable to trade. Right oh man, I would love to see it. Uh, get some kills here with their it's superior weapons, but they're just throwing them, throwing yeah. them at Carl. I think, um. Oh no, Der Nerdman not getting seen by that Sova dart at least. That is important, because they don't know where they're Oh man, Nerdman needs to get something here. Oh, but does inspect the weapon. Ooh. Does inspect the map, we're good. Spike oh, down, oh, man. mid. Breadman picking up a kill, but getting traded. Let's miss you three of their superior weapons in the enemy hands right now. Yeah, that's not that's not looking too good, I'm gonna be mm. honest. No. No, Thankfully they do still have their armor. They can't take that off of the corpse for some reason. Yeah, at least they, they have their armor. They might not have the guns. They, have they might armor. not have their guns anymore or their lives. Spike planted. But they have their armor, it's okay. It's oh, okay. I was wrong even. Krillik's the only one here with armor that matters. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to try to see and make something work, you know. They they don't want to save here, you know. They just want to try to take away some of the, their own guns from the enemy team. Um, I would say that if the enemy team decides to keep their SMGs, that's on them. Last player standing. Successful. Nerman Good does damage. take out Solid Walrus here. Uh, is about to, get... to swing, possibly get Cloud. Oh, oh, no. He's done enough, you know, and the, the coordinated team play comes out there for... Carl University. Carl yeah. University. Carl, Carl, Carl University. Um, open flag coming in. And even if we were able to get that pick on two clowns, we would have been the clowns. <laughs> With that open flag. I think me and you are the clowns here. That's the only okay, yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> we're really clowning it up. All right. Yeah. SMSU with, is it SMGs? <laughs> Um, I, I'm really hoping that SMSU has not bought up, bought up here. However, I am seeing Spectre, so... Yeah, it looks like SMSU is trying for a light buy here when they really should have bought it all. Oh no, that's... Again, that grenade did get the kill. So, looks like SMSU loses one, but yeah. trades it for another. Oh, but now they lose Breadloaf for free. No, I, Breadloaf is playing one of those positions where... You need uh, some support from uh, other teammates, but hey, also hey. you're playing an agent that you really have to stay alive and be able to wall things off. You have to be able to smoke off. Spike plant. Jet is playing in an area where if Breadloaf was alive, they can have that smoked off and either force, you know, them to play either on site or fully commit to off site. And just Last player standing. One to two now in favor of Carl University. I think right here it's really essential that we're still missing a lot of that utility. Yeah, we're missing a lot of utility for sure, but I think it's essential here that SMSU does save and make sure they're on the same page for buys because Right. A coordinated I, buy would save their economy right now. Yeah. They need to just not buy a single yeah. thing. Maybe utility. Maybe if we uh -oh. get like a tab. I'm not. I'm not liking any of that at yeah, all. So I'm not liking that at all. Yeah, we're gonna see another buy here, kind of from SMC. Nerdman is gonna have more money next round. Bucky did have a decent buy. I think Buck 2000 is mostly the most you have to do. Yeah. They're using a lot of that utility that they have. He's gonna reposition and try to find this on the KO, get some shot off the cover. Does get some damage onto himself. Nerfman going out trying to take a swing for that kill. This is gonna be going Fight planted. Reptide picks up Nerdman. It's a 2v4 and SMC is looking to be in a really, really weird position here. You know, you got one flank, you got one heaven, and you got Killjoy flanking the gecko, so that's an interesting dynamic. Satchel out! Cover Bucky 5 HP, got him. Last player standing. It does get a pick. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
caught out with this grenade. But overall, trying to kill the the omen below him, but didn't expect this cipher on sight. Yeah. The Sova. It's uh, no, it's it's still early into the game, and I think that SMSU, you know, I think Breadlow buys up here. I think Nerman, uh, just tries to buy up with his team, and we might see something happen for SMSU. I'd like to see Nerdman honestly buy nothing but shields and utility, and maybe a better pistol. And then stealing if one of it, like sitting next to one of his teammates, so that when they die, he can take their gun. It is the ultimate rat strategy. I don't know if I, I agree but there. I think I would rather him buy up with his team <laughs> so that he's not baiting his teammate. Yeah. I mean, he has a better gun. Variable a better pistol. Perfect, like Brendel's is down. Okay. Uh, where's uh, <laughs> the Nerman over here? Huh? <laughs> Alright, Bucky is gonna possibly swing out of the smoke and try to get one. Already has two around. Maybe looking for the ace, honestly, at this point, you know. Okay. He's gonna be rotating off Carl University. A little scared of that A hit. However, Gecko is watching this. Does right notice there. that Killjoy is here. Should be calling for some rotates. SMSU sort of just waiting. Cypher is really pushed up. He's this gonna get info good. really yeah. quickly. That's yeah. perfect. Great oh man, Ugh. great kills by Krillic there. No, that kind of positioning from Krillic really gives <laughs> that kind of Oh wow. Killjoy didn't stand a chance there. He doesn't he doesn't need to, to pull And Nerdman gets his pressure. full buy now. Yeah, full buy, yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um but yeah, going back to the round, you know, the reason why it's so good that Cypher pushed up right there is they had a lot of information that A was, you know, riddled with their enemies. So he pushes up there, gets all that map control, and the last thing they are expecting is for Cypher to move up that far out of his own utility. And that's one of the unique things about Cypher is that utility doesn't have a time cooldown when you pick it up unless it's the camera. So Cypher can pick up his trips and replace them at a more aggressive approach, and you know, enemy team's not gonna expect that. They're not gonna think, hey, no, you should run. run. Stay down. Fred Lowe, Fred Lowe, Fred getting a very good clowns. pick there. Wait, I'd like to see a little bit more passive play so he can get that great utility he's got off. He is gonna Wait, keep himself clear. One player However, oh wow, oh. one player does get through his wave. Oh, Buck is Looks like Carl is gonna get a sight, but no, it is but a four spike four. planted. It yep. is in their favor. They have to wait for this blank EK here to come through. However, it does He's not down. pick up anything. And Bucky's gotta be the person who pushes out, and he does. Bucky picks up one. Acrylic with a pick as well. The last two are main. One and enemy remains. Oh, wow. Bucky. The Someone has to get on. Second kill on this retake. Oh, Bucky getting picked though. Very inopportune for they him. They know that he's main. However, no one really. Acrylic is watching. Last player oh, no. standing. Acrylic losing the gunfight to a tricky teleport there by Omen. Jumping out and teleporting back, but losing the gunfight after that. Very unfortunate. That's up. That was <laughs> a great play by that omen, but uh. I think that's uh one of the hard parts about trying to you know, they were they were up so many players, but you no, know, it just didn't work out, I think, right there. If you're a little bit more passive and you wait for Omen to come to you because they they have to come to you. Yeah. I would like to see Bucky oh, after that great pick on Sova with their ult. I would like to see them pull back, play with their team. But I, I do get the aggressiveness. I, I think if they were going to do that, they should have had their team. But. First to push back into sight. Does pick up his second for the round. Oh, does clean him up. Beautiful shadow. Blinding out here, trying to make it work. Over Omen, second for the round. No, pretty fast. Spike planted. Oh no, Last Bucky player standing. Shots. Bucky. Engineer kill knows there's one CT and one for its sight. A little bit of damage off that grenade getting pinged. Yeah, no utility at the moment. As KO.
did spot him out with that knife. Omen aiming right at was aiming right at his head for so long. The bot did pull him away for a second, but smoke dropping so quickly that Bucky couldn't react in time. Yeah, we're gonna wanna see SMSU buy here. All right, so we have a full buy coming out from Carl University. However, SMSU kind of having a more scattered buy. Some Bulldog Spectres coming out. Um, Carl leaning heavily towards A. All five players leaving a lot of exposed map control for SMSU to take if they are yeah. up for it. I wouldn't do this normally, though. I would normally sit on my site just like Red Lopez is. Just like... Is. Oh, getting picked because of the Soba dart. I like that grenade. Spike planted. It's so fluid and it has a lot of utility going into it. Sometimes it's better to do that in that situation, you know. Um, right. Last player standing. Three here. Yeah. Not taking a single call yeah. player with them. There. <laughs> that was a cute little uh, photo on there. Anyways, um. Love right. Alice. Bucky. I think the weird part that it, it just Here. feels off in the gameplay of SMSU is the, the lack of control of the map. I, I think that's the hardest part of this is they have these flanks coming in, but it just never feels like there's any real control of the area. These flanks are coming in. So, you know, like they can tell that people are top mid. However, okay. we're not in a position where we can actually control that. Fearful shadow in a bad position. Ooh. But does pick up clowns. However, Reptide's really easy to swing out here and possibly get him. Exactly oh, what's gonna yeah. happen. Oh, man. You know, that position's good for one, but you want to be good for two or more. Need those reloads to come out a little slower. Yeah. A lot of bullets in the magazine. You need a couple of them. That's, that's the thing about some of these newer FPS games. I mean, CSGO as well, included in that. But, you know, the, the reload is not something that you need to do every five seconds. It's really important. You know, you see Krillik here, 21 left for that. He could reload, but he's not going to. Because he knows 21 is I must is wait enough. a moment. Um, 30 seconds left. RB main, Trying to do something here. Does not have to one enemy really remaining? That plant, but not a lot of spike planted. They know he has to be on Whoa, so he just planted. Cipher might be able to alt here and give them all the information they need. Honestly, at this point, you just want to secure a round, right? Y you don't need anything else besides this round. Anything else is a cherry on top. If you don't secure this round, you know it's you can't break even in the half, and that's hard. <laughs> Solid Walrus, not sure what to do here. Completely yeah. locked in the back <laughs> there. <laughs> Perfect. They didn't off. need any more time than that, though. You know, it's it's scary with the. Uh, you know, sometimes. Certainly stressful. I, I think a hard part of this is keeping on to, like we're we're keeping ults that we don't necessarily need to keep. Um, like right there, I think honestly, you just use cipher ult. Cypher old to learn exactly where he is and then you You know, suddenly Breadloaf's utility becomes even more suffocating, right? And you don't have to wonder when you're going into sight where he is. Is he close? Is he going to swing? Am I gonna die? He could have also never have been back there. Yeah. I mean if he was sitting in the corner He could have been anywhere on site. They would have never even seen him. He would have probably sat there the whole time. One oh, down, man. my Red ultimate Wolf. is ready. That is not an ideal place to peek. 
Yeah. Base site, you kind of just want to play passive because they have to run to you in that tiny little choke point. Fuck you, gonna try to make something work here. Oh, gonna get picked by clowns though. Not expecting the close players. Yeah, that's that's hard because if Bucky's gonna do that, you, you need someone. Uh, Spike that down was A. Good for nerd men, but yeah. just too many players getting a lot of damage on a lot of players there though. It looks like Spike planted. Their killjoy is very low, and so is their Sova. The Sova yeah. probably only needs to get shot t once. Yeah. Let's take a moment to realize that every member is playing off except Jet. Jet is playing in this aggressive angle, trying to get one or two He's down. results, but they are prepared to use Sova. They are prepared to, use they are no prepared sweat. to win this round. Like, there, there's, you know, they have mollies coming out. If they need, they will use Sova, right? Last oh, player no. standing. Geico not playing in the position. <laughs> Getting picked for free there. I would like to see him use his utility safely. Because he could have used his utility to defuse the bomb for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. and not die. That is a good point because that is one thing. You know, Gecko is a newer agent, and one of the big advantages of Gecko is that he has someone who can defuse the bomb. His little companion <laughs> his little minion yeah you know he can use the bomb and it continues even after gecko dies that's a huge bonus you know gecko dies and his guy's still on bomb i would have expected to see that sova ult and kill it but yeah. it would have at least taken away the sova ult the gecko could have been watching that choke point with his teammate yeah. you should run taking him away oh, wow red loaf has always been here so i don't know a new attack is so good. Oh wow. That ult from Breadloaf probably destroyed. Oh, it is DP'd up top game. though. I think this is gonna be something that is only oh, 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 wow, Breadloaf destroying that jet. That's getting traded by that omen though. Oh wow, third man bad the reload, reloads. Player standing. Cover going out. This utility is kind of suffocating. Stealing sight. Oh wow. <laughs> he is gonna get riptide though. No, that's is all he you gonna want. get a gun? Yep, he is. There we go. He's even gonna reload it. Yes. Oh, but he's gonna get pinned. Headshot. He doesn't nice. even care. Alright, acrylic clearing. Corners, however, time is ticking down. He's gonna want to go quick if he wants to make something work. Turret uh. is watching. Molly is going on to bomb. You know, at this point, you have to either push Cage them or you have to make a run for a save. Oh wow! I don't think he's gonna make it out of there. They might not let him. Yeah, oh no, he's gonna make it. The save come in, but you just gotta believe he might make it. He could got make it. it. He's gonna make it. Uh, Sky, yep. That's that's a hard round. You. Five rounds Last down, round in the half. One gun that round. One round left until they switch to attacking side. Yeah. And I want to take note of SMS use by Bradlow opting for a marshal, even though it is loud. Okay. Oh, switching it up. Alright, okay, that is good. That is good. I was a little scared there. But if we can look back at the tab again, we can see that Nerdman has a bulldog, even though Krillik has enough money to buy him. I think that's something that Get out of my way. you know really it just shows their isn't a, a, exactly as a single as you Nerdman is using his ult for the first time this half. Riptide using a omen? A omen? What? A Odin? Odin, yeah. <laughs> omen is not a gun, omen is Riptide. Riptide is omen, he's not. Clowns picking up for like and now Nerdman is getting ulted by the other KO. One enemy remaining. Spike planted. He does get silenced. Oh man. The knife so threatening. Oh, man. 
Not a good last round of Switching the half. Miss you there. No, not really what you hoped for. Three. At least it nine. happened at the end of that half, so that they didn't have to deal with a terrible economy the next round. Yeah. Five I think players he's dying. He's mad. He has to play. They have pistols now. Yeah. Now they're fine. Now, now the economy is back to normal. I guess. Everybody's poor. Uh, yeah. Normal, normal stuff here. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna see SMSU trying to contest this A main. Maybe some tree activity. I'm I'm a little concerned about this jet. I think jet's gonna be peeking out mid, poss possibly picking up either. A dagger giving information that there's a lot of players in SMSU over on A. Bucky dropping from there. Uh, oh. The class does pick up acrylic. Oh, it's 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 a worry when you have no smokes towards mid like that, right? You don't have anything that can stop their push. You know? Now the smokes go out, but it has to be towards the beginning of the round, so clowns can't kill Quillet like that and get a free trade for his teammate. It's usually four v four now. Right. They know where the clowns is. They do pick him up and go to the door though. They Spike do down, B. They do need to get rid of her. So they know Sova's CT now. One enemy remaining. They kill Sova. The last one left is Killjoy, and Killjoy has the bomb. One oh, enemy remaining. No, Killjoy jumped up onto the catwalk there. Uh, Redloaf not aware where Killjoy is, even though Killjoy just killed their teammate. I think that's a a rough situation. Because there's not much you can say, and I'm not. Here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I couldn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even know what it was. You know, there's not much you can say about that round because. Here. Yeah. You know, some of these players are new to the game, they and, and they get nervous days. and they get. They sing a lot, but it, it's scary, honestly, like, out. to uh, be in such a stressful situation, right? Um, and it's hard to know what to do right there, but I think. Just walking. Shutting them down. Um, Party's over. Scared. Clowns picking up one of the <coughs> does dash away. Here. Repositioning, probably for another kill here. Um, <laughs> spam. This spamming nerd, man. He is low. I saw it while I There's nothing they can do when they get attacked from so many different locations, directions. Yeah. We gotta see, um, like, Cypher Utility right there, like, patching on the flanks. But regardless, you know, SMSU trying to make something work here. Um, they will get off a full buy this round. Yeah, I mean, that that's exactly what we need. You know, if you don't have a full buy, there's just no way you're coming back in this game. So if SMSU win this, wins this round, you know, there's a chance. There, there's a chance they can make something work. But if they don't win, this round is really hard to come back from. They're yeah. not going to have the money for the next round. Yeah. So, man. Found a nerd man. Fred will know three picking up their own. One enemy remaining. Auto. SMSU just running into A site now after killing the entire team except for the oh. yeah. Killjoy Thanks, able to see Thanks, the little man go and plant that bomb. Sana, sana. Vibe check, we I feeling good? Say, just from that round, so, so. see that there was so much more coordination. The way that they were all prepared for the A push, um, the wall going up, Gecko pulling out his utility to plant. That's a lot more coordination than SMSU has shown. So just that is a, you know, there's a lot that they can do with their utility and they just have to come together to secure rounds. SMSU slightly splitting up here too, with three yeah, going towards the uh, One going mid, two going A, and two going B. So another one of those defaults. Yeah, we're see kind of a stack towards A. If you Oh, Jet able to jump back into spawn. 
The jet is tagged for you, so that's gonna be vulnerable. There are no heals on Carl University. So just to you're trying to fake out a little bit here. Try to just kind of keep them. Maybe get a free kill. Mm -hmm. Just kind of defaulting across the board. Oh, Bucky getting hit by that dart. This is not where they want to go. They are going to run into four players if they end up going here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Spike down mid. Trying to trade that, but just not able. Too suppressed. Reptide about a sprint. Oh, Thirty Bucky seconds left. Reptide and Derby getting a pick there on clowns. Is it enough though? It's a two v three with Esmus. You down a player. Flashback. And it looks like B site is completely clear, but they don't have the bomb. Oh wow, Bucky getting the freest kill there with Sova. Ten seconds left. In the round. Ten seconds left. Last oh, player Bucky standing. Trying to do a slide. Herman does not have time. Yeah. Isn't even trying to go for the plant. Nothing he can do. He's over going to say hi real quick. Unfortunately, I guess he didn't expect there to be Killjoy there. Gun Match wasn't point. out ready for a fight. Just really unfortunate there. Yeah, I I think one of the most important things that our, our coach and Valorant has uh, said, you know, Spencer, he, he constantly talks about strategies that can win you the game and Placing if you have teammates that are you know not no longer in the round them being vocal and telling you like time and telling you kind of like things and Saving Nerdman though, Nerdman is gonna be fine. Yeah, he's gonna try to get fine. that res, however. I have the spike. 2v2, but the flank is coming in. Clown's gonna catch Nerdman. Last player standing. Not, Not at all. all. This. Well, Bucky does have ult even if he wants to do that. He's gonna get the gunfight. He does tag him three times. They just need to play together here and they'll be fine. Or Last player Nerdman standing. They're not playing together. This is. Oh man, Nerdman does still have his grenade. Tarts I out. don't like that drop. Oh, but it does work out for him because. <laughs> not expecting a drop, not expecting an enemy player two inches away when he tries to use his, his turret ability. Yeah. That's not ready. His gun not out. Yeah. Kind of like Nerdman was last run when he ran into him. No, they you might say that's up. karma. I will say right there, I think uh, Bucky being aggressive with that second peak was not the move. Yeah. So it was uh, a foresight. I think he sort of expected, without calling out, that his teammate would fight with him. But if you're going to be taking an aggressive angle, you've got to be 100% sure your team is there with you. I'd like to see SMSU do something on B here, to be honest. They've not really touched it. And picking up clowns. Right Carl's been sort of playing game this whole time. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! Let's have the pick. I'd let I don't like to see him really take a lead. Looks like that's what they're doing, but this killjoy is just so persistent. Yeah, this No. Killjoy Spike down two, B. But Esmus, you still. I have to spike. In this situation. Going for a very risky plant but with the sight spike under planted. so much control. Yeah, Omen does pick up Kerlek though, so it is now a 2v3. You're gonna wanna see Shadows Traveling. use their all in this close plant, otherwise there's just not a lot that will be happening. Is that dark hit? Oh, here's the the there we does go. Does pick up KO. That's what you want to see from SMSU here. Last player standing. Oh, that's oh, no, SMSU does get picked off. That was gonna be the last round, even. 
Yeah, I think, you know, this game did show more promise than the last. Right. For sure. I, you know, the score line is still the same, but... Defenders a lot less, win! You know, hesitation on SMSC's part here, you know. At least they were coordinated together and they, they kind of went as a team. So, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. Um, I think this was a better game and with more practice, more wins will come their way. However, on a different note, um, we will have Overwatch on Thursday. The time is yet to be determined. We will have another Valorant game on Wednesday. However, it, was, it will be Valorant Gold. And we will have Rocket League on Friday. So just once again, Wednesday will be Valorant Gold. Thursday will be Overwatch. And Friday will be Rocket League. So te uh, tr tune in and um, support those teams as well. Um, supporting SMSU Esports goes a long way and makes the program just a lot better for all of us. So thank you to anyone who tuned in, and we hope to see you the next time on Wednesday for Valorant Gold. Thank you. Thank you all.